Happy Thanksgiving to all my crypto pioneers. Everybody that who is subscribed to this channel, happy Thanksgiving. Another thing, and if you're not on this channel, happy Thanksgiving to you guys as well. But you guys want to stay to the end of this video for those who want to know how to use Uphold and to purchase XRP. Now, right now, as you guys see, Dogalon Mars is sitting at 28.01, up by 0.34%. Family Dogalon been sitting steady. Listen. I want you guys to read this article right here. This is something that I want you guys to understand. Like what I've been telling you guys for the past couple of weeks, New York City mayor undeterred by FTX collapse and says crypto is an industry we must embrace. Like what I've been telling you guys, you guys want to accumulate your bags as much as you can because they are still doing it. Just because they're putting on the media, oh, FTX is a smoke screen, family. It's just a smoke screen. All right. So now for those who've been wanting to, you know, know how to purchase XRP on Uphold, this is just one of my small wallets that I just use to transfer my XRP and to purchase XRP. So I'm in Uphold right now. Okay, when you guys start the account, you have to put in your social security number and all that other stuff. Don't be afraid. This is how you're supposed to have a you know account with Uphold. Once you do that, all right, you're going to add you're gonna add your cards, your bank cards. So it's gonna look like this: my accounts. All right, as you guys see, I already transferred this. I still have to transfer some of my Luna to my ledger but that's just a little something you scroll down these are the cards you update your cards or use your bank okay and down here that's how you you know press the add button to add your bank onto there now once you add your debit card onto the website when when you do your first purchase it's not going to go through I'm just letting you guys know right now. The first purchase is not going to go through. The reason why is Uphold is from, it's based in New York. So your bank will send you like a fraud alert or whatnot. So once you get that, you have to accept that payment. So you have to call that fraud alert number for your bank or speak to a bank representative at your bank's. And let them know that you're trying to make a purchase on Uphold because certain debit cards, certain credit cards, they don't, you know, they don't want you buying cryptocurrency. So you have to call your bank who you're banking with and let them know that you are trying to purchase digital currency on a exchange, a site called Uphold. Once they see that, they'll be like, OK, well, that's you and you're allowing this transaction. You tell them yes. Once you do that, you have to do that transaction again, okay? Once you do that transaction, you will have a XRP account with your XRP on there. Now, once you do that, say if I use one of my debit cards and I wanted to purchase some XRP, right? So I go to cryptocurrencies, XRP, click on the account. And then say how many you want. So say if I wanted to spend a hundred dollars, that's how many XRP that I can get. And once you preview the deposit, it will go straight to your account. Simple and easy. But once you do that, you will have to transfer your XRP to your Nano Ledger X. So I'm gonna show you guys something different. Let me erase this. Click on here. So say I want to transfer my XRP, so I click on that. All right. Unfortunately, we are unable to process this transaction to this destination. Well, we're not sending anything to that destination. Go to here. And you scroll down to cryptocurrencies, right? You see that there. So you scroll down until you go to crypto networks so you click on xrp ledger network 
So say if I wanted to send 100 XRP from this account to the network, that's how much I'll be sending. And then once you click on preview withdrawal, it will ask you, uh, you know, the address that you're sending to. So you're sending it to a XRP address to the ledger. So you're getting it from your account, then you're transferring your XRP to your XRP ledger. That's simple. But if anybody have more questions, just feel free to hit me up in a DM on Instagram or on Twitter. But that's all you have to do, family. Safe and easy. This is where you purchase your XRP. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Hey, family, we're about to be up very soon. Don't let anything discourage you of what you're going to invest into your future, family.